Hi, my name is Tori Theodore and I'm giving an informative speech about the history of the Hollywood sign. So Hollywood is known as the land of fame, fortune, and future. But let's rewind. What was Hollywood before it was Hollywood? Well, it favored a western frontier with farmers and cowboys and more. Most of the rural land was used for nothing more than grazing cattle. But when Easterners started to migrate west, real estate became a booming industry. And Hollywood slowly began to form into the legacy that we know today. I've been infatuated with the history of momentous landmarks ever since I was a little girl. And the Hollywood sign is a well-known monument, but its history is often overlooked. Hollywood's claim to fame started with the boom in the film industry. The first studio to settle down within the gates of Hollywood was the Nestor Film Company. They produced about three pictures, which we would call movies nowadays, a week. They did one western picture, one eastern picture, and one comedy picture. The climate of Hollywood is what really made it a prime location for shooting. By 1912, there were at least 15 independent studios shooting all around Hollywood. The quiet western ways began to rapidly change. Even the old barns were being used as sound stages. By 1915, film had taken over America. Aspiring actors and actresses began to flock to Hollywood. By 1920, over 40 million Americans were going to the movies each week. The film industry was in high pursuit. In the process, more film studios began to pop up all around the Hollywood area. Now, before we had the infamous Hollywood sign, there was the Hollywood land sign. It was constructed in 1923 by Harry Chandler, and he had this built to be a giant billboard to advertise real estate, according to history.com. Costing around $21,000, not only was the cost of the sign very big, the letters were as well. The original sign's 13 letters were 30 feet wide and 43 feet tall. Construction workers had to carry all the materials up dirt paths just to construct the sign. Once the sign was constructed, it was then lit up by 4,020 watt bulbs. Holly lit up first, then wood, then land, all together forming Hollywood land. And according to HollywoodSign.org, the sign was only intended to last a year and a half, but obviously it has been up for more than nine decades. It wasn't until the late 40s when the sign needed reconstruction we would lose the land and it would become the infamous Hollywood sign that we know today. Which would also need complete reconstruction with the 1970s. While the Hollywood sign has been up there, there have been many statements made with the Hollywood sign. Especially through art. The Hollywood sign was used to portray and produce the said art. Some people like to play a little pranks as part of a statement piece. According to history.com, on January 1st, 1976, Danny Feingood and some of his friends from Cal State Northridge College in Hollywood went up to the Hollywood sign. They bought $50 worth of black and white fabric and they covered the sign and it made it read, Holly Weed. They did this to celebrate the state law that had just passed that decriminalized the possessions of small amounts of marijuana. He did this as an art project and he did receive an A. He did change the sign a couple more times after that, but it has been, ooh, I'm sorry. But it resulted in the loss of public access to the Hollywood sign. The Hollywood sign has also been featured and destroyed in art. Many movies like Superman and the Rocketeer, the sign has been destroyed, but it's also featured. Hopes and dreams have also been destroyed at the Hollywood sign. Referring back to the boom in the film industry, many actors and actresses had hoped of being a part of the industry. It came with a lot of heartbreak and disappointment. In 1932, Peg Entwistle became known as the Hollywood sign girl, which symbolized the dark side of the Hollywood dream. Peg had come from New York with a background as a stage actress and hoped of becoming a big Hollywood star. So she moved out west with her uncle. On September 18th, 1932, Peg had told her uncle that she was going to meet up with some friends, but instead she lied and she went up to the Hollywood sign, climbed up the H, and jumped to her death. It was tragic. Like I said before, the newspaper labeled her as the Hollywood sign girl and she lost her life at the age of 24. The Hollywood sign has a deep history that society tends to regret. It's often overlooked by the glitz and glamour of stardom.
It plays an immense role in society. And as they say in the show business, that's a wrap.